Hello, Happy New Year. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to the new QGIS plugin for downloading NASA data directly within QGIS. So NASA has a huge data catalog with over 120 petabyte of data. So this one, you will need to uh, download the data from the web interface or you need to know how to do programming in order to download the data uh, from the NASA OS data archive. But in this new plugin that I created, it makes it so much easier that you can source the data, you can download whatever data that you need uh, directly within QGIS without having to write any line of code. And uh, the link is in the video description below. Here is the GitHub uh, repository. It's going to show you uh, where you can, um, in how we can install and download the uh, plugin. Also, last week I released the Earth Engine Data Catalogs uh, plugin. It was very popular. And that plugin also uh, unlocks access to over 80 petabyte data, although it's smaller than the NASA Earth Data uh, Catalog. But the nice thing about the Earth Engine Data Catalog is that the data has been uh, standardized. So you can actually load the data directly into the map very easily in one computation. The NASA Earth Data Catalog is a bit different. Uh, the data format, it varies quite a lot. So some of the data, you can visualize the lamp directly. Some of the data you will have to download. But Nevertheless, the plugin helps you visualize the footprint uh, within your area of interest and also you can download data easily with, with a couple click. So uh, depending on uh, what data you're interested in and what kind of application, you might want to try out either one of these plugins. If you want to standardize data, you use the Earth Engine Data Catalog uh, um, plugin. If the data is not available through Google Search Engine, then you might have to use the NASA Earth Data Catalog. And, uh, the links are also in the video description below. There's also a video showing you step by step how to install it in QGIS to access the Google Search Engine data. So for this video, we're going to install this one. And uh, you can go to the NASA webpage. So for this plugin, you will need to have an account. Uh, so you know, I, I will show you shortly how to do that. But first, let's install QGIS. And similar to the previous video, don't use your previous QGIS installation because uh, we will need uh, NASA OS access Python package. So that one, it might be challenging to install that in your previous QGIS installation because there are some like dependencies that are quite complicated. So I'm going to show you step by step how to do it uh, very easily here. Uh, let me open my um, downloads directory. So you can just follow the command line here step by step to install them. So first, let me, oops. Let me open the terminal here under my downloads directory. You can open it any, anywhere you like. And then just copy this command line. It depends on your operating system. If Linux or Mac, copy this one. Windows, copy this uh, PowerShell command and then just paste the enter. It will be able to download and install a uh, PIPC for you. So only take a couple seconds. Then once it's installed, you can close the terminal. Then we can start creating a new uh, PIPC project. Looks my looks like my internet is a little bit slow today, but hopefully it will be done shortly. All right, it's done. After that, close the terminal, reopen. Okay, then you can just type pipsy this this uh, version to see the pipsy version that you have installed. Once you have that, then we can start creating a new uh, pipsy project. So pipsy uh, init geo. So I'm gonna create a new uh, geo project here, and then cd geo. So inside the project, you should be able to find the project um, directory within your downloads directory here. And this is where uh, we're going to install all the dependencies. So next, let's just copy this command line, pipc add QGS host access and also geopandas. So these are the libraries that needed to uh, visualize the data. So I'm going to just copy this and then paste, hit enter. It might take a couple minutes depending on your internet speed, uh, but it should be pretty quick to resolve all the dependencies. And after that, we can open QGIS to install plugin. Before uh, one, when we are waiting, I would like you to sign up for the NASA OS data um, account. So go to the repository here and then click the link, take you to the NASA OS data uh, webpage. So from there, uh, let me sign up here uh, so that you can take a look. So this is the interface. If you're new to NASA OS data, you can click the button to the right register for a profile then just enter all the information and then verify your email then you should be good to go and after that you can uh, click login you will log into your uh, web page so this is how you sign up for an account 
once you have that if you want to uh, navigate like check the data you just remove the uris uh, from the browser url and then go to nasa uh, earthdata.nasa.gov it will take you to the uh, nasa webpage and this is where you can find all kind of data uh, you can search the keywords here or you can directly look at the data catalog okay so the data catalog can take you to the uh, filter so this is where you can see all kind of data filter for example you can check different data format look at if you saw all the data format so it varies there are large amount of data available and if you want to visualize the data directly we will need the cloud optimized GOT. so this is the one that later when we source the data we can visualize them directly but they are the data format and if they're not available for visualization you can download them directly to your computer easily so try to find something here you like or you can directly use in a QGIS plugin but i just want to show you under the hood is basically utilizing this data catalog and there are tens of thousands of data set available it's a huge data catalog for um, centuries or multiple decades and it definitely you want to explore this a little bit so that you know what data are available then you can in the QGIS plugin you can use the keywords that you source here to find the same data set that you can download um, the difference is that everything is doing within QGIS so you can overlay with other data layer uh, that you want okay it looks like it's still uh, downloading um, I'm going to go over here just to show you the steps right so next you can actually install a plugin you can use my customized QGIS plugin repository or uh, you can use the official one because this was already published in the official QGIS plugin repository so now it should be uh, much faster now uh, you don't have to add the QGIS plugin okay uh, since it's still waiting I'm going to just open my uh, previous QGIS plugin installation like I said you need to wait until it's finished and then you can just type pipc run QGIS you should be able to open the QGIS, uh, plugin, uh, QGIS in, uh, installation so I'm going to open a new tab and then I'm going to use my Conda um, installation and then just Conda run QGIS so if you have installed QGIS through Conda it should work as well once it's open let's open the new tab here and then go to the plugins menu manage and install plugins switch to the old tab and then from here so NASA just so NASA you will show up the list and the second one nasa earth data okay select click install all right it's done and then you should find the nasa earth data menu from here okay also on the menu uh, on the toolbar here you also find these two buttons the nasa earth data and also the settings button so there are two uh, buttons here and this is where you can enter your credentials so here uh, when you sign up for the NASA OS data account, you enter your username and your password here, then click test credentials. It should save the credentials to your computer. Or you can create a dot NRC file um, manually if you want to. But when you save the username and password, it will automatically create this one. So you don't have to re-enter every time. It's going to save to your um, home directory. And so this one, once it's found, then later when we use the Earth access package, you will be able to use this one for authentication okay but the first step i want you to do is to update the plugin so go to the nasa earth data menu click this check for updates and then click this button check for updates and you will show okay the current version is 0.1 but there's the latest version 0.11 you want to download this one because there was a bug reported i just fixed it uh fixed that yesterday so click this download and then yes it will download the plugin from uh, GitHub and then install it, close. Then you can close uh, QGIS. Then open QGIS again. We should be ready to go, okay? Create a new project. And then you can add the base map, whatever base map that you like. I'm going to add the Google satellite base map here. And then you can turn on this plugin. Again, make sure you go to the NASA Earth data settings and check the RN, uh, dot net RC file. If it's green, that means it's a good sign then you can start using that okay so now click this button here to open the nasa earth data and for here it allows you to basically search any keywords so you can describe any keywords that you like then you will be able to basically filter the list if you're just directly using this that one is like 
tens of thousands. So it's a huge list, but the data varies. The data format and also coverage is not as standardized as the Google Search Engine data catalog. But again, you at least you'll be able to filter the data and then find the data uh, um, coverage. So for example, if I want like harmonize lane set and Sentinel to the data set, I just type H L S in the keywords input box. Then it's going to show you the filter the list. So this is where you can find the list. There's some kind of duplicates here. You don't have to worry about it. For example, you can select the first one. And then from here, you can start defining your area of interest. For example, I'm going to maybe zoom to Las Vegas here. Uh, this is my area of interest. Then click this use map extend. Okay. Once you click, it's going to retrieve and then show you the basically the bounding box for the map extend. After that, you can specify uh, the date range so depends on the date um, the time the time span that you want for this one we are searching the data for the past year for example from January 2025 to uh, January 2026 besides just the date and the area of interest you can also check this advanced options allows you to customize additional options so if you know the properties of those attributes you can customize in here for example, for cloud cover, I want to change to maximum 10%. For example, if you know other parameters here you want to change, you can do it. But I'm just going to customize this one and then click the search button. It should be able to search all the data set covering your area of interest and then show you all the footprints. So take a look. Now it shows you these footprints uh, for the area. You can click this identifier. If you want, you can click here to select. There are quite a lot of data actually uh, available. For the area so uh, you might need to find what you need in order to download and once you have that you can let me close this one so at the board i at the uh, search result box here you will see some of the list of these uh, results and you can select individual one uh, to inspect them so for example here and then oh this is just too much probably because i i limit to Yeah, these are all the basically all the results available. So you can select individual one and then click this display cut button because this is basically um cloud optimized GeoTIF uh optimized GeoTIF and you will need to select individual band because under the hood the data have been saved as individual band. For example, I can select maybe band five and then you can zoom to the pl uh, plugin if you want to. So this is for example, this is the plug uh the footprint for this selected data set and then you can click this uh, let me uncheck this one to not select any data oops so click this display cut and it's going to basically retrieve the data because it's a cloud optimized geotiff we can um, retrieve the data on demand it's going to load the data it's not going to be like as fast as google sending because um, this is basically using the cloud optimized geotiff to retrieve the on demand I seem different from Google sending the using the XYZ tile, so usually it's much faster. You can also handle much larger area, but at least you can slow the data. You can see them, and I can turn off the footprint, so you can see the data compare uh, to the base map. And when you're zooming in, you will notice that it's kind of pixelated because it's pulling the data for your map area. So it might take a couple seconds. At least you can visualize them if you want to, and you're welcome to select any other bands uh, you want. And then you can load them together if you are satisfied with the data you can click this download button here on the right click the download button and then click this yes find an area that you want for example here i'm going to maybe create a new uh data a new folder called nasa okay and then if you select the folder click yes it will be downloading the data directly to a computer so you don't have to go to nasa website to manually to search and download the data now i can do everything within qgs and once it's downloaded you will be able to find the data set within the directory and take a look so for this particular data set it will download all the bands directly from nasa uh, it might take some time depending on how big is the data set but um you will download all of them for you so for each for each data set they have multiple um, bands and that's why it's being downloaded here uh, automatically for you and you can if you don't select any of those it will download all the data set so you can download the entire list of source results automatically 
without having to select anyone so depending on what you want you can zoom to a small area and then specify your date and the time range and after that you can download them all together uh, this might take some time i'm going to take it finish and then uh, we can continue okay and now all the data have been downloaded and it's going to say downloaded 15 files and raster to the map because there are too many i can just click no but you will find all the files here directly within the downloads directory and if you want you can select any of those to add to the maps for example i can check this maybe uh b10 okay and then move to the map so this one is just a, a thermal uh thermal band but you can find any other band for example band 7 right so makes it really easy for you to download any data from uh, nasa of course you can just reset that and you can find other data set for example they say okay uh, i want some uh jet type okay so these are kind of a lidar data set so you can select and then from here you can select from the drop down list find what kind of data do you want and maybe i want this above ground biomass density uh, v2 2056 and then from here oh uh, you will need to get the extend for example here use the map extend and you can change the date for example i'm not sure if we have 2025 we have any data set yes so and you can see all the footprints and for this data set because they are not um cloud optimized geotiff so you do need to download the data to your computer if you want to but you can inspect the footprint here and on the right here it will show you uh, the information for this particular data set the beginning the end date the format and something like that so certainly if you want to inspect the data before you download them then this is certainly something uh, you can do and once you are um, satisfied with this you can explore the results so you select any of the footprint and then click this zoom to footprint it will zoom to that particular one i think i should probably improve this one a little bit to highlight the footprint rather than uh, showing just the the, the uh, ordinary color just the blue color maybe in the next release so uh, stay tuned for the update and once you uh, select the one that you want then you click this download button it's going to ask whether you want to download uh, just a selected one or you want to download all of them uh, if you don't need them you can just close and this is how you can easily search and download any data from nasa earth data archive without having to use any uh, website or programming everything will be just within um <coughs> within the qgs interface and also here like i said you can select this one and you can see the provider and other stuff this is where you can do the filter so if you go to the advanced option uh, you can copy something from here so if you know specifically some of the attributes then for example ornl cloud you will be putting something in here so you can further refine your source criteria to find the data that you want okay uh i think that's all i want to show you it's a pretty simple and straightforward plugin compared to the google sending one that one's a little bit more complicated and has a lot more power because uh, you can run computation you can um, um download the data using different ways but uh, this is just different ways to access all kind of satellite data and also geospatial data uh, for your research okay that's all for this tutorial i hope you find it useful i will see you uh, in the next one take care bye bye